when you work 10 years to be here, it sucks to see your game crumble. Well, well, well. If it isn't the consequences of Daniel's own actions this week on Big Brother. With Nicole gone, things in the house are getting tense. You did a great job convincing the whole house that oh what they did God. was all up to me and I manipulated them to do it. And could this new HOH be the beginning of the end for the leftovers? Plus, Muffin Gate. Let's just say I wouldn't want to be in the house right now, so let's talk Big Brother Season 24, Sunday's episode. I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. We pick up right after Nicole got voted out, and Daniel is acting like he wasn't the one who went against Monty and used the veto, aka making this all happen. He's trying to throw Monty under the bus for manipulating people, but everyone sees through what he's doing. You don't, like, make a show about losing your friend. Everyone loses friends in this house. That's, like, the game. I'm sorry. I can't. I mean, I'm sorry your ally went home, Daniel, but it was your fault, so save the show for Vegas. Next up is the HOH, and basically the only thing that really would be bad for the leftovers is a Daniel win. And that fear goes out the window pretty quickly when Michael crushes this balance beam comp right off the bat. I mean, the competition was questionable. I really want this HOH this week because... <laughs> I'm nervous that Michael is going to put a massive target on his back with all these wins. But also, he's not like in the best spot in the leftovers, so he does have to make big moves, but ugh, just be careful, Michael. Okay, Michael's our next HOH, great news for the leftovers. And now for a quick game break to watch Jasmine lose her mind over a muffin. Or actually, half a muffin. Basically, someone eats half of the muffin she was saving, and are we sure Nicole was the cop? Because Jasmine is in full interrogation mode. Who ate the half? But who could the culprit be? Everyone denies it. I can totally see this, and that's why I ate a muffin. Oh my god, this is pettiness at its finest. I mean, we all know Turner is very over being Jasmine's festy bestie. A fly could land on Jasmine's foot and she would act like she was thrown off Mount Kilimanjaro. I also don't know what this says about me, but this just cemented Turner as like maybe my favorite house guest of a season. I mean, eating the muffin in the diary room, that is comedy gold. Meanwhile, over in showman's land, Kyle and Alyssa are just making out. What could ruin this? Hey, do y'all know who ate half of my muffin? Okay, back to strategy. Monty and Joseph pitch putting them and Terrence on the block to give the leftovers the best chance at winning veto, then backdooring Daniel with Terrence as a plan B. Now, it's a good plan for the leftovers to cover their tracks and for Monty to get out the guy who's targeting him. But Michael wonders if getting out a big threat like Monty might be better for his game. I mean, after all, Daniel's kind of off on his own in the house. I'm torn. I know the leftovers have to break at some point, but I was hoping for a little bit more of them. They're so much fun together. But also, Michael knows you have to play your own game in Big Brother, and this could be a good move for him. Honestly, I think he'll realize it's a little too soon to cut ties with his alliance. In the end, I think Daniel's gonna be a goner. I kinda feel like I'm having my muffin and eating it too. I don't know, what do you think he should do? Am I being too conservative? Let me know in the comments, like and subscribe. We've got Otev returning on Wednesday at 8, so tune in for that. And I'll see you next time. I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. <laughs>